All right. Man, this has been a long time coming. How's it going, everybody? Michael Sirachi here, Swordmaster0813. And uh, I finally decided I'm going to do another review. And uh, it's been crazy. Uh, crazy couple few months. Uh, moved. Got a brand new uh, space to do all my reviews. And um, new armory. Everything's, everything's a little different. So it's all positive stuff, really positive. So um, we had our third child. So I have three boys now. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go back and doing reviews. Uh, I'm gonna do more Zombie Tools reviews. I'm gonna do more uh, newer, uh, lesser known Bladesmith reviews because that's really what I wanna get into at this point. And uh, we're gonna get into it, it's gonna be really awesome. So super excited. So I'm gonna start here, all right? Today, I am reviewing Mr. John Gage, who has become a very good friend of mine, okay? His Spartacus design, that's the blade shape, is the Spartacus design. We tweaked the hell out of it. We added a very aggressive guard, and we added a pretty aggressive Roman-style pommel. Now, this is a Gladius, but it's actually a take on the Gladius and a Celtic longsword. We just shortened it. Okay, so you got a 16 inch blade. You got 22 inches overall. It is um, an ivory micarta handle with leather wrap. It is etched on one side with my last name and etched on the other side with Never Retreat. And it's twin sword never surrender so two swords now when I say that this guy is an amazing bladesmith these are all done by hand and he cuts these out he literally made these two within a hundredth of an ounce from each other now if you realize how it is so hard to do that specifically that close doing everything by hand even materials um, just the Makarta alone can be different as far as that goes. So it's really, really incredible. And um, these, his base model, without the bells and whistles, if you will, is $1,100. And that's a black blade with a black handle. Okay, Everything's kind of uh, over the top. You can add on. His stuff is phenomenal. This is, he is literally one of the hidden gems of the blade world. And I really believe that. Um, because his work is just, it really is unbelievable. Um, the balance on these swords is incredible. I mean, it is two pounds, one ounce. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, they just move. And it's a razor blade. This is 3V... I'm not sure of the exact steel. I'll put it in the comments because I'm trying to remember and I don't remember. Um, it's a high carbon, very, um, very, uh, can take a lot of damage tool steel, high carbon tool steel. And uh, I really, really loved it. These were about $1,800 a piece just because of all the custom etching. And all this etching is done um, by hand. Everything he does is done by hand. It uh, is really, they're amazing blades. These are actually gonna be for my youngest son. Um, my oldest son has one of his pieces and my middle son has the Grim Sever ax. So these are my youngest son's twin swords. And uh, I'm just really, really pumped about doing this review. Everything he does is Kydex Sheaths and um, I'll put his link in description in there. He does some amazing leather over Kydex with some incredible bells and whistles that he can do. I mean, the dude is just phenomenal. His work is phenomenal. Um, he's done a lot of stuff with um, uh, Barrett knives. And um, he actually used to be uh, one of the head smiths for Albion. Albion swords. So he gained a lot of knowledge from that particular endeavor. And it just shows. I mean, these are um, over Albion quality, I would say. And I've had some Albion swords. I like the uh, tactical look. I'm having them do a pair of these just like this, but all tactical, that I'm going to keep for myself. 
these are my son's swords and uh, so they're really really awesome like I said 16 inches overall 22 inch no I'm sorry <laughs> 16 inch blade 22 inches overall never retreat never surrender and then Sirachi on the other side I mean by doing these by hand the fact that they came out this perfectly balanced together is really really something I mean he just did a phenomenal job so I just absolutely love them I really do they are incredible pieces I mean his workmanship is I mean if I, I can't obviously show you but just the feel of the leather with the single riser in the middle I mean it is just phenomenal work absolutely phenomenal work this blows pretty much everything I've owned out of the water I would say this is the he's the best maker I know hands down and that's really a uh, heck of a claim uh, and, and his pieces are not the cheapest ones around you know tactical version 1100 bucks but you know what worth every penny of them. every penny I mean he is like I said this is Albion quality but better I mean if you want what Albion does in a different style tactical um, this is obviously more of a um, over and above because all the etching and the micarta handles leather wrap and stuff but just absolutely incredible work I can't even tell you the balance on these swords are really truly unbelievable so I gotta tell you he is the shit and uh, if you want to do an investment for one of, I mean, I put him as quality of Fable Blades. I mean, that's literally um, uh, Odin Blades, Long Ship Now, and Fable Blades. That's the quality, and um, and I can't stress that enough. I mean, that is he's up to par, if not above. Uh, I would say he's on the same level as Fable Blades. He is Fable Blades um, in a tactical standpoint. I mean, he really is just absolutely incredible. So, really cool work. And uh, I absolutely love it. Like I said, these were, because all the bells and whistles, $1,800 a piece. The base model is $1,100. Um, I'm sure he'd do a blackout like this for probably $13 or $14, exactly like this, blacked out. And uh, so just really, really awesome pieces. So I'm also going to review his other piece that I have for my oldest son, his Dadao, because that's, um, like I said, uh, something we designed together, and it was just incredible. This is his Spartacus. Um, blade and then we together designed a really aggressive guard and pommel that uh, is reminiscent of the um, Roman gladius meets the um, Celtic longsword and that's basically what we wanted to do uh, the anamorphic style um, guard with a gladius meets anamorphic pommel so really awesome piece and I know I'm talking a lot it's a little bit different of a review than I normally do, but it uh, just wanted to get back into it really quick. And uh, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more um, every weekend. I'm going to try to get on and do something. And uh, I think you guys are going to really like what I got going. And uh, just some really cool stuff. It's going to be a new experience. Going to create a whole new cutting place to do all kinds of cutting. It's going to be really great. So um, within the next month, you're gonna see a whole ton of cool shit um, that I'm gonna review and do, and it's gonna be really wonderful. So we're in a really good place, um, you know, pool, hot tub, nice house. So busting ass the last couple years to get everything done. Sold a lot of my collection, but I still have a ton, and uh, it's gonna be great. So thank you guys for staying with me through all this, and uh, you know, guys who have you know still subscribed to the channel, watch the channel. I really appreciate it, and uh, you know, I'm doing this for fun. I want to get back into the weight loss. I gained about 25 pounds, so I want to get back down to the 190 that I was. So when your wife gets pregnant, that'll that'll happen. You'll gain a little weight, but still certainly a whole lot skinnier than I used to be. So I'll take it. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much again, guys, and I look forward to uh, seeing you very soon. Uh, check out Mr. John Gage's work. I'll put links up to his Facebook page. I'm telling you, you will not regret this. I mean, this blows the American commie stuff out of the water. It blows a lot of the zombie tool stuff out of the water. Again, you're at a totally different price point. You know, zombie tools, as I've said many times, for the money, you're never going to get a better sword. But if you want to spend more money, there are better swords out there. And I've said that a million times. For the four or five hundred dollar uh, 
price point, you can't get better. When you go 1112, you can't get better than this. Um, up to two grand, this is what it is. If you go four or five thousand, you get Fable Blades. This is literally for the fifth, I would say, between 1100 for the base model up to two grand per sword. This is top of the line quality. It doesn't get any better fit and finish than this. I mean, really, really incredibly epic pieces. Something you can hand down generations. I mean, really. And that's really uh, why I had him do these, because they are just something else. They really are. Absolutely incredible balance, feel, just really epic pieces. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you again for everything, and uh, many blessings.